Okay, so before we start today's video, I want to really quickly go over something with you guys. I'm on my second channel, Lagging Live, and you can see right here that I am subscribed to my main channel, which means if I go to my subscriptions, then I should be getting all of my videos from my main channel here. However, sometimes they don't appear at all. So in order to fix this, what you need to do is simply, when you're inside of your subscriptions tab, is just go over here to any one of the videos of your favorite YouTuber, and then you'll see that you're watching the video. Below it, where you've already subscribed, meaning you should be getting all their videos, there's the bell. You need to click the bell. All right, notifications from lagging 24 x Send me all notifications for this channel. You then hit save, and now every single time that particular YouTuber uploads a video, it will be in your subscription tab, and you won't be missing any of their videos, supposedly. It sucks that YouTube's this way, because if you put the time in to hit the subscribe button, it already means you like that channel, that you wanna see more from them. But YouTube expects more from you now, not just hitting the subscribe button, but also hitting the bell icon. So that's how you do it on PC. It's very similar on mobile. So if you're watching on your phone, make sure you do the same thing. And it's not just for my sake, do it for anybody you enjoy watching, guys. And thank you so much, and let's start the video. So Lee Ross is pretty angry, and for those of you guys who don't know, he is the head of the zombie team over at Infinity Ward, and he's in charge of making the maps so far that we're playing Zombies in Spaceland and Rave in the Redwoods. Now recently, he put out a tweet on Twitter that said, some of you have cheated your way to the top of Rave in the Redwoods. Tisk tisk, a reckoning is coming. Hashtag cheaters never win, winners never cheat. So what exactly is he talking about? So if we take a look over at the leaderboards for Solo, you'll see people that have made it to round 231, 230, 225, 211, 190, and the list goes on and on. Now these are incredibly high rounds, and you've got to kind of scratch your head at this. So for those of you who don't know, also it's just as bad with the co-op too. There's guys in the 190s and 150s uh, playing four player teams. So for those of you who don't know, when you beat the Easter egg, you get a really cool weapon. It's called the Smiley, which is a power saw that you can use to kill zombies. The Smiley has two modes for killing zombies. You can shoot blades at the zombies, so it's a ranged attack, and each time you shoot a blade, it consumes one ammo. It also had just a standard chainsaw kind of effect where you stand there and you just power it up by holding one of the trigger buttons and zombies can walk right into it and it's just a one hit kill and they die now when the map first came out this chainsaw effect on the smiley did not consume ammo whatsoever so you could literally just hold down the trigger button and kill zombies forever now with each map that comes out, you kind of expect a couple of things. You expect a camping spot and you expect a training spot for both styles of play. So people did find the camping spot and it happens to be on Turtle Island right up in the cabin. So the zombies only spawn down on the island and then they go up the stairs to the cabin. So people would stand at the top of the stairs where the zombies would come single file and all you had to do was simply hold down the trigger button and just stand there. And you could do this for as long as you wanted to do it. And this is why people got the high rounds that they got. Now, the leaderboard pictures that I showed in this video is just an assumption on my part. I am assuming they used the smiley to do this. These all may be legit, but I don't know. That's not my call to make. Well, the guys over at Infinity Ward, the zombie team, saw what people were doing with the smiley. And either they said to themselves, wait a minute, this is supposed to be consuming ammo or wait a minute, oops, we done goofed up and didn't think about how this was going to be used. Either way, they put out a patch that made it to where there is ammo consumption on both the range attack on the smiley and on the handheld melee attack on the smiley. So now when you do the chainsaw effect with the smiley, it consumes one ammo for each zombie you kill. Now players can't sit up there and camp and just hold down the trigger button for infinite rounds of zombies. So now that you know about the smiley, the patch that came out, the way that people were camping and using the smiley, 
Uh, you can now look at the leaderboards and kind of question, wow, 231 rounds, you just stood there and held a trigger. So Lee Ross is calling these people cheaters and he says a reckoning is coming. So what exactly does that mean? And is it really the player's fault or is it Infinity Ward's fault? Well, it's 100% Infinity Ward's fault. You cannot put a weapon in the game with infinite ammo that's a one hit kill and a spot on the map where no zombies can get you from behind and not expect for something like this to happen. Now, on the other hand, I do agree that the leaderboards need to be wiped. This is a no skill list of people that did exploit what Infinity Ward put in the game. It is not their fault, but those are not real records. I'm sorry, that is some cheap ass garbage zombie play. Um, and anybody that did that, whatever, hey, however you want to play the game is up to you. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying those records are not real, okay? Let's get real. Those are not real records. But again, Infinity Ward dropped the ball here. I don't know that Lee Ross should have come out on Twitter and said what he said. I think quietly he should have done the patch that they did. Now it consumes ammo, and I think they should just wipe the leaderboards. I mean, I think I'm fine with that. I would love to know how you guys feel about that. These players that did this did not do anything wrong. They did not do an out of the map glitch where they were shooting the zombies from outside the map where the zombies couldn't get them. They did not do a pile up glitch. They did not jump on top of the barrier that you're not supposed to be on where zombies can't reach you. They didn't do anything wrong. All right, it's not their fault, but these are not real records. This is definitely a controversial subject that Lee Ross has kind of brought up to the zombie community, and it's got a lot of people angry at him. And then there's some people like me that aren't angry at him for wanting to wipe the leaderboards, but are also just like, well, dude, listen, man, it's not the player's fault. I think that if you guys intended to have an infinite ammo weapon, then you shouldn't have put a camping spot in the map or if you didn't mean for the camping spot to be there, uh, meaning zombies should be able to spawn in the cabin and behind you here, then that should have been tested more properly. If you didn't mean for the smiley to have infinite melee ammo, then it should have never been released like that. And that is definitely on the team over there at Infinity Ward. Either way, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and I will see you uh, next time.